Welcome to another show, Fateful Events That Changed the Future, where we bring historical photographs to life. Please like and comment, let us know which photo you like best, what events you are interested in, what you would like to see on our channel. Don't forget to click the to subscribe button and click on the bell to be guaranteed to receive notifications when a new video is published. Thank you for watching. Kate Fields, social lioness and wandering journalist in the first half of the 19th century, many women sought to break free from the stereotypes of the era, and one such personality was Kate Fields. Born in 1838 in Boston, she was a representative of high society, attracting attention not only with her respectable appearance but also with a lifestyle unusual for her time. The Fields family was wealthy and influential, and Kate, despite her social position, adamantly refused to submit to the limitations imposed on women in the 19th century. From the very beginning, Kate stood out among her peers with her sharp mind and eagerness for knowledge. She was one of the few women of her time who decisively chose the path of education and had an incredible desire to contribute to society. Her father, a respected publisher and politician, supported her aspirations, ultimately helping Kate carve out a unique place in public life. Kate Fields quickly became known as an author and journalist, corresponding with literary giants such as Charles Dickens and Henry James. Her articles covered a wide range of topics, from social issues to cultural events. But what truly made her a star was her wanderlust. Kate traveled through Europe and America, describing her impressions and views on various cultures. Her travel notes became bestsellers, making her one of the most celebrated women of her time. Despite her professional success, Kate Field's personal life was complicated. She was a free spirit and held strongly feminist views. Her rejection of traditional female roles sparked discussions and criticism from society. Additionally, her relationships with men were complex and often led to scandals, which was highly provocative for the time. Parallel to the adventures of Kate Fields on the stage, another well-known figure emerges, Kate Chase. Born in 1840, she was the daughter of Ohio Senator and Governor Salmon Chase. The Chase family was influential in political circles, and young Kate, often referred to as beautiful, quickly caught society's attention. In contrast to Kate Fields, Kate Chase pursued education not so much for her own interests, but with a desire to serve society. She studied in girls' schools, but also received education in politics and law. Her sharp mind and charm quickly made her the center of attention at political gatherings and social events. Kate Chase also became known for her influence in politics. Her father, Salmon Chase, was a senator and later became the head of the U.S. Department of the Treasury. Kate was not just a beauty, she was an intelligent woman actively involved in the political life of the country. She even supported a romantic relationship with President Lincoln, which elicited mixed reactions from society. However, behind the brilliant facade of the life of the beautiful Kate, personal challenges were hidden. Her marriage to William Sprague, a wealthy railroad tycoon, became a source of many rumors and speculations. Divorce from her husband and the loss of close family members only intensified her sorrow. So, were these two remarkable women ever connected in life? It is known that both Kates were in the same social circle and attended numerous events in Washington. However, there is no direct evidence of their meeting. They may have crossed paths at social events, but there is no information about a close friendship or enmity between them. Kate Fields and Kate Chase left their mark in history. Kate Fields, with her journalistic talents and yearning for freedom, inspired many women of her time and became a harbinger of emancipation. Her travel notes left an indelible imprint on literature and culture. On the other hand, Kate Chase, despite her personal difficulties, managed to contribute to the political and social life of her era. Her involvement in politics and social efforts left a mark, even if she couldn't entirely avoid personal challenges. Both women, each in her own style, represented exceptional personalities of the 19th century, overcoming socio-cultural limitations of their time. In their stories, wealth, influence, passion, tragedy, and the pursuit of freedom blend, creating unique and memorable portraits of the two Kates who etched their names into the annals of history.